Friday morning. It's a good day. It's a nice day. The weather's been really nice. It's that time of the year though. Leaves are falling. It's fall. It's Halloween season. And what comes with Halloween? But haunted houses. Or not. A lot of them have been canceled around here anyway, to where you can't even you can't even go to a haunted house um, because of the planned uh, pandemic. They're closed. It's a holiday, not even a holiday, it's not holy, no, it's unholy day, where you're supposed to wear masks, but they cancel it. Yet every other day they want you to wear a mask. Kind of crazy, but um, I was online shopping. There are some haunted houses like an hour and a half away near the big city. And I was looking last night on their website and you can buy tickets in advance. And so it was like, all right, I'll buy a couple of tickets. And then I thought, okay, how am I going to have to pay for this? I hope they have PayPal. Go to the cart, check out. Nope, don't have PayPal. And it's not that I'm a big fan of PayPal. It's just the fact that you've got your credit card or debit card, banking, whatever information in one spot. Nope, they want you to enter your credit card information directly on their site so that you can pay them. All right. So you do it with them. They have your information. Another site wants it. They have your information. Pretty soon you're giving out your credit card number and the number, the security code, the address, the name. They have everything they need to make a fraudulent purchase. Now, it's not the company necessarily. It's usually an individual in the company that commits the fraud because they have access to it and they're going to go out and charge that thing up. The more people you have to give that information to, the more fraud that's out there. And that's exactly what happens. It's a fraudulent system. And that's why you have chargebacks and you can dispute it up to six months. You know that, oh, I didn't make that charge because it's a fraud system and they know it's a fraud system. It would be so much better if we could just pay directly with something like Litecoin, a cryptocurrency to where you can just pay that person and they can't pull from your wallet. You don't give them any information that allows them to take your money away from you. More honest system, cryptocurrency. Hope you have a great day.